Hey guys, Omni here. I just got back from seeing the movie that's going to save movies, Tenet. Christopher Nolan's Tenet. It finally showed in my area. I just got back. It's quite a lot to process. I'm probably going to have to see this a second time. I don't know. All I can say is the performances in this was fantastic. This movie was amazing. Do I understand everything that happened in it? No, I'm not that smart. And that, I can't even tell you if it even makes sense, even if I knew the level of physics that this kind of dives into. At the end of it, I understand what is going on, what is happening. I just, the mechanics of it, I just can't process. But I, I, I think I'm going to go check it out again. But this is a, this movie was mind-blowing. It also did not stop. This movie, from the beginning, is pretty much continuous momentum throughout. The action scenes are unrelenting and really creative in the way that they handle this idea that they've got a pro, uh, thrown into this, this inversion of time, this uh, forward movement, the, them trying to figure out what is happening from this, you know, conspiracy from the future or whatever have you. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much because I, I don't want to go into anything that might be possibly spoilers. So if it hasn't shown up in the trailer, I'm not going to talk about it. This movie was pulse pumping the entire time. Like I, I, I just was really just enthralled in every moment that was going on in this. And the performances are one of the main things that carry this whole thing through. John David Washington, phenomenal. Robert Pattinson, phenomenal. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, what's her name? Debicki, fantastic. Michael Caine's in a scene. And of course it's Michael Caine and he's Michael Caine. And Kenneth Branagh in this is just juicy. This entire cast just brings this whole thing to life. And there's so much follow through and pre-thought that goes into this movie that I just can't even piece it all together. I don't understand the inner workings of Christopher Nolan's mind, but I can tell you that he does not disappoint whenever he puts out a film. The visuals, the cinematography in this movie are mind-blowing, as always, just of his style. The music is amazing in this. It's always suiting what's happening, as well as just kind of also helping accelerate your heart rate during this whole thing. Um, this sound design in this movie fantastic this i i just there's i cannot think of a negative of this movie except for the fact that i just i i i can't wrap my head around a lot of the mechanics of this and i if oh man but that doesn't make it any less amazing it, there's some sequences and shots in this that are just a hypnotic like I, I don't even know. There's, oh my God. There's like my brain. I can't even do it right now. There's just like so many things happening all at once in a lot of different ways. And that doesn't tell you anything. You know, we know from the trailer that there's this inversion of time, that things, certain things can interact the opposite of they do rather than moving forward through time there's objects moving back through time. And there's a process that kind of causes this to happen. And there's some sequences, multiple sequences throughout this movie, and then a huge set piece later in the film where this is all kind of happening at the same time. You've got people fighting in this combat and this action and momentum going in forward motion while other things around them are going backwards at the same time, other people, things, objects, it's freaking like there's always something in the background to kind of pay attention to. And throughout the entire journey, pay attention to things that are happening, where things are. And it, you know, honestly, by the time the whole thing wrapped up, I'm like, how did I not see this coming? It's, but it's so good. It's so earned and it, it's a lot of fun, man. It's, it's definitely something I want to go back and check out again. It's, it never really slogs. It never really stops. It never really, you know, the pace never really gives up. It never lost me on this journey. And even though I wasn't understanding like 85% of the science, the physics behind the explanations as to why and what and how this all is happening. 
I need I need to go through this movie a little bit slower so I can sink it all in. But it didn't matter. Like all of it sounds whatever. You could say all of this. It could be fake. It could be nonsense for all I care. Because once it's playing out, you buy into it. Because they say everything in this movie is sold with such serious conviction. This movie takes all of itself seriously and it has fun with it and it commits to every single one of its ideas wholeheartedly that even if this is bullshit, you buy it because the characters buy into it and the action buys into it and the story and the just everything buys into this idea. So I don't have to understand it. I don't. I'd like to understand it, which is why I want to see it again. I want to see it more than once so that I can kind of get a deeper understanding of what's happening. Cause I'm with Christopher Nolan. There's always, he's always got such a level of detail to, and uh, authenticity to his ideas, no matter how far fetched they can be. He always has it kind of grounded in some type of real world practice, real world theorems, real world, uh, you know, science. to what we at least know of certain things or how some things are perceived. So, you know, I feel like there's definitely a lot to take away from this in a second, third, fourth, 800th viewing. Um, but even if you don't want to put that much time into it or that much thought into this film, you don't have to. This movie is, it, it, it services the plot enough that you don't have to be concerned with the science. You just go along with the ride, follow these characters on this journey, and it is a thrill ride through and through seat gripping ah this this was this is what james bond wants to be sometimes and i love me some james bond man but this takes it all to another level the hand to hand combat in this movie is good uh man this was fantastic man i don't know if this is like save cinema worthy uh this was like an early access release cuz i don't think the official release dates until the 3rd um, in most of the U S but my theater was showing it for the next couple of days right now for whatever reason. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to buy into this and go check it out. And I loved it. It was a lot of fun. You know, I, I make a joke that Christopher Nolan just kind of like, he, 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 he loves his own ideas. He loves like exaggerating film to this like pinnacle where I was just like, oh my God. Christopher, Christopher Nolan has to live in some magic world where he's pretty much just his he, he's so up his own ass so much that it's always so pretentious, but you still just eat it up. And he knows you will. He knows you're going to eat it up. But he dude is sniffing his own fumes. And as long as he keeps putting out movies like this, man, I don't care. You know, I'll take the pretension. I'll take the heady ideas. I, I, I'll take it all because I don't care. Because he puts out some stuff that makes you think, it makes you wonder, and it creates an interesting narrative and pushing the limits of film, what he can do in action sequences, what he can do with the camera, what he can do with these ideas and your perception of reality from inception to this, from memento and onward to Dunkirk, everything in between. The guy's... The guy's got talent, man. I don't know what else to say. That's like the most obvious thing in the world, but this movie was a shit ton of fun. So if you get a chance, check out this movie in on the big screen because I I do think this is one of those movies. And I think that's like indicative of Christopher Nolan's entire filmography is it deserves to be seen on the big screen. I know right now it's a huge risk, so I'm not going to endorse that. If you have to wait, I'm sure this thing is going to be living long out in the ether for a while. Take your, take your time. Uh, don't rush out. You know, as long as your theaters are being safe, if, there are, if they are open and you feel comfortable, check it out. But this movie should be seen on a big-ass screen. I, again, he always shoots these things in IMAX, and I do not have access to an IMAX theater Unless I want to drive five hours, which I don't most of the time. So I, I, I've still yet to see any of these movies in their full-fledged scope. So 
and it's still freaking amazing. So that that says a lot, I think. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the movie. I can't really go into anything else without spoiling anything. Fantastic, mind-bending movie. Check it out when you can. If you have, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. We can carry on that conversation after the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody.